All right, final video on the power steering pump alternator bracket combo. All right, this is what I ended up with. So, double pulley. These guys got really good tension. I got tensioning features on this new bracket. It allows me to tension these independently and it also gives me the adjustment to rotate the power steering pump. So as, you, as it goes up, it tends to want to rock in towards the exhaust manifold. So there's two other slots in this bracket that uh, give you the flexibility to kind of pivot this guy in and out so that way you can maintain a reasonable clearance from the exhaust header and keep the, keep the cup level so that way you're not spilling oil everywhere. And then the uh, alternator, just a simple two-point mounting scheme just uh, has the pivot at the bottom and then you can uh, just pull it outwards and that gives you just enough slack to get the belt on and give it proper tension. That's actually real tight. So I expect these belts will loosen up a little bit once they get worn in. It's pretty tight clearance here. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Pretty tight clearance here, but I still have some adjustment where I can pull this guy out and get, uh, get maybe another... I don't know, maybe a quarter inch worth of gap there. And then uh, this sucker just barely clears the fan blade. So I'm, uh, I'm optimistic I'm not going to have any problems with that. And then uh, this guy turned out really nice. It's really, really stiff. Um, again, mostly the loads that act on this bracket are going to be um, just basically um, torque reaction. So it's, it's uh, predominantly, well, it's... The couple right the force couple up at the steering motor but basically that all just gets transferred down to this plate so this sucker is absolutely before i put all these parts on this sucker is just absolutely rock solid rigid i mean i could throw a tie strap on that sucker and probably pick some pick some weight up with it so that's my solution to converting a six volt generator system negative ground generator system over to a 12 volt alternator and then the same time using some uh some pretty trick old power steering components the pump is a vickers it's a let me get this model number it's a vt16 which i think they still make versions of this eaton makes uh i think eaton has all the rights to this stuff now they bought them out so they, they make a version of this still. Um, the remote reservoir part of it, I'm not so sure of, but um, or at least the, the integral reservoir part, I'm not so sure of, but I know they make a remote reservoir version. Pretty much the exact same, uh, exact same design. And then uh, up here is the power steering motor. That's a Charlin unit. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to putting some fluid in this sucker, starting it up and making sure it runs good. I'm uh, fairly confident I've got all my clearances in here, so when I put the radiator in, I'm gonna, it's all going to tuck in there real tight, but it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. And then uh, I did double check. I had the hood on here the other day, mocked it all up to make sure that all this stuff, there's a cutout, there's a cutout in the hood that kind of comes through here all this stuff basically gets around that so it's it's tight but it's gonna work and I think it'll look pretty good and it's gonna be really functional thanks to YouTube hope you like this if uh, if you got any questions or if you want to want to talk tractors just drop a comment like subscribe I'll talk at you later thanks